Hello plant people, it's Nora here, also known as the Lekka Queen on Instagram. Welcome to my channel where we talk about all things indoor plants. Today I have a special treat for you, you asked for it and I'm going to give it to you. We are going to talk about moss poles, one of my most favorite subjects. We're going to talk about how I keep my moss poles standing up. So um, let's get stuck into it. I have all sorts of different kinds of moss poles. Because I make my own moss poles, I'm able to tailor my moss pole to the plant and also what I want the plant to do and what I want the plant to eventually look like. So I'll start with one of these. I've got my Syngonium Pink Splash here. So maybe, yes, that is a pink splash. I've got my pink splash here. This one is living on a fairly thin moss pole. Um, I don't need a very big one for a Syngonium. It's just a plain moss pole, no plastic sheet backing, no rod. It's very short. So because it's thin and not very tall, it doesn't need any support. The moss pole actually supports itself there. So this plant is living in Lekka and um, yeah, that one is pretty sturdy. Nothing can happen. So thin, short, the moss and the most important thing though, one of the most important things is I use wire mesh for my moss poles, so not the plastic mesh. So the wire mesh itself does add some stability to the pole. So if you use the plastic one, it's more likely to be wonky. So yes, uh, Syngonium, thin, plas um, so yes, Syngonium, thin pole, not very tall, metal mesh, and that one is good. I've got another plant here. That's a Monstera. So again, short pole, very short, no metal rod, but this one has the plastic sheeting at the back. I find that when you use very good uh, plastic sheeting, relatively firm, that does add some stability to the pole as well. So this one is a relatively broader pole. As you can see, it's quite, it's a lot thicker than the Sigonium one. That one was quite thin. This one is a lot thicker and it's got that Big plastic base it's got the wire mesh and it's not so high so that one again very very stable also living in Lekka so that's pole number two I've got here my beautiful philodendron varicosum and this is also living in Lekka on a moss pole as you can see this pole is a lot taller than the other ones a lot longer rather and it's also got a plastic sheeting at the back, but it's also got a metal rod. So I put a metal rod in this one because it's a lot longer and I knew that I'd need to have the rod on there to provide that stability because otherwise it would um, hold on its own, not as well anyway. It's got the wire mesh there, the very thick, you can hear, it's very, very thick plastic sheeting there and that's happy staying in that lecker. So that's that philodendron pericosum living there. I've got another plant. This is my Marble Queen Pothos. As you can see, this is a pretty long pole. It's relatively thinner, doesn't have a plastic sheeting at the back, but it's got the pole. And I put that pole from the very beginning because it is about um, a metre high, about 900 uh, centimetres. So it's quite long and it just needs that support from the very beginning. And I knew this was going to be a pretty big pole. It'll eventually probably get to about two metres because I want that pothos to go all the way to the top. So that's also living in Lekka and that's the kind of support it's got at the back. And I've also got the Velcro ties there just to hold the plant to the pole. Now I'll talk about how my big plants actually stay on the pole. I've got some big plants back here. Um, yeah, they're, they are just some spectacular specimens. I'll grab my camera and get you closer. So just panning out, I've got my golden ivy. So this is a golden ivy pothos. And look at her go. She's going all the way up to the ceiling. 
and this plant is over two meters high. Next to that is my Marble Queen that is also getting to about two meters at this point. And next to that is my Snow Queen or Enjoy and that is also getting up there. So as you can see, this one, this the, the Snow Queen pour is a lot flatter it does have plastic sheet backing and you can check out the leaves are just just getting so big I'm really liking how this plant is turning out but what I will show you now is the back so this is what's happening at the back of this plant I've got a metal pole a relatively thick metal pole that's running all the way from the base of the plant right up to the pole. This this uh, metal rod is about 2.1 meters if I remember correctly and it's got that plastic sheet backing as well and I attach the pole to the plastic sheeting using um, cable ties. See that's the cable tie and the rod is attached to the pole and you can see it's attached to the pole at various points just to keep that contact and to keep it stable. But another really important point is that I actually keep my poles in a heavy pot. So this ceramic pot at the bottom adds additional stability. So as you can see this rod is pretty steady this plant is pretty steady and isn't going anywhere. Same thing with my Marble Queen. So if we focus on the Marble Queen, just looking at that pot at the bottom, that is a very, very heavy, thick pot. So it gives it that stability from the bottom. And the pot, you can see, if you look inside, the ceramic pot is a lot bigger compared to the plastic pot so it just grabs that little part and just keeps it steady but take a look at this marble queen check out how we started these are the leaves we initially started off with look at how that's changing look at how big they start to become And that's where we are. So this is a cylindrical moss pole and it's got the plastic sheeting at the back but more importantly it also has that metal rod that the Snow Queen also has and that really works to provide that stability. So this plant actually also shows it's got some smaller rods on the inside that was from uh, when it was a lot smaller so all I did was just attach the metal, the big rod on the outside. Now let's get to the big mama. So this golden ivy, like I said, is just, it's over two meters long, over two meters long. And it's, yes, this is a flat pole in hindsight. I probably shouldn't have made it a flat pole. It makes it a bit harder to stabilize, right? And I actually didn't use the very very thick plastic sheeting but you know guys I had just started my pole journey when I did this and you live and learn you live and learn I'll definitely do things differently next time when I'm doing a, a pole like this but there we go but look at the thickness of this look at that it's just insane it's insane I need to grab a stool and show you what that looks like. But same thing, you know, ceramic pot at the base, very, very heavy pot, metal rods going through, because there's just no way, there's no way this could stand up on its own without metal rod support. So I've got a pretty high stool now. I'm on the stool and that shows you the top of that plant and that's the newest leaf 
there. Look at the variegation on that. There's a new leaf coming back there. This plant is just amazing. It's freaking amazing, people. Show you the view from the new leaf. That's the newest leaf. Look at that. How big do you reckon that is? Look at the variegation on that. Just amazing. That's the top of my pantry. Right, this is the ceiling. I am now standing on my kitchen bench top, if you can believe that. Standing on my kitchen bench top. And that is my golden ivy.